Now, this is the fight breakdown. So, guys, I've been looking forward to giving you a little bit of um, how the show will go this time. And where we break things down, we want to give people very few segments. So this segment right here is called the fight breakdown. And in the fight breakdown, it's going to be on a 100-point must system. Each round will be scored. It will be judged on four criteria. And we're going to go one at a time. And we're going to chop it up. And I want each of you to give me kind of what your – they're going to either get 25 points or 20 points in each category. All right? So okay. Loma, he's going to get the nod or it's either going to be Lopez. And that's kind of how we break it down, you know, because I went on board with ESPN years ago. And I was doing that handicap. And they was like, oh, we got to get the fight doctor over there and do the handicap. And so that's one of the things that I did. Broke it down. Man, I'm telling you. When you when you're you're breaking fights down for real Vegas style, which is what I was doing, it's a lot diff more difficult because you got a lot of people that they want those quotes from, and these guys aren't known. So you got to look at a one. You might go pull them up on YouTube, and boom! Like if I had never seen you fight before, Shane, I gotta know if you're gonna win this next fight. It's a lot different, man, when you're doing that at a high level. So you really got to have a system. And I Mm -hmm. developed a system, and the system really works. And this is just a kind of like a shorter version of it. So the criteria in which the guys will be um, broken down on, first, fight IQ. So you experience does come into play, but sometimes you got something special. Otis, I'll start with you. Ring IQ. Who has... The highest boxing IQ, Loma or Lopez? Well, I think, you know, definitely you have to say Loma has the, the best uh, fight IQ because of his involvement in uh, his amateur background and going to mm-hmm. uh, the Olympics and, and, and everything. But um, yeah. I will not say that that uh, that Lopez is, is a slouch as far as IQ, especially when it comes to his father in the corner. His father oh, yeah. in the corner is, is, a, is a big asset as far as fight IQ. And I think yeah. there's going to be certain things that they try to handicap uh, with, with Lama. But definitely have to give Lama the, uh, the nod of fight IQ. He's going to he's gonna do a lot of stuff like we talked about with, uh, with yeah. me and Andre Ward sparring back in the day last week. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's going to show you something. There's going to be a lot yeah. of Jedi mind tricks that Lama has to do uh, to get yeah. past uh, Lopez's power. So I, I give him the nod. Uh, if you want to do it by points, I would say uh, – I would go uh, with 25 points being uh, the total points that we're allotted. I would say uh, uh, 15 to uh, to 10. Llama. 15, 10. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, wow. Shane, it's on you. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm going to have to go with the same thing, man. Uh, just all the experience from uh, Loma and – uh, him fighting for a world title in his second fight and then fighting nothing but world championship fights after that. Uh, I mean, he, he, you know, he has experience. He's fought at a, uh, a top level and been winning at a top level consistently. And in those and in those fights, he's looking impressive enough to make these guys quit. Um, so, I mean, like top guys are stopping on the stool and saying, you know, I don't want to fight no more. Yeah. I can't hit him. Yeah. I don't want to fight no more. Like <laughs> that, that, that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and, and, to do that at, and to, to do that yeah. at a consistent level, I mean, how he shut out Rigandow, who is also a yeah. very top professional and, and top amateur. And he was able to make him look, you know, basic, which is crazy. You know what I mean? To think that I somebody take can that with a gr- yeah, I take that with a grain of salt. He was like he looked like a little kid in there against him. So, but you got to do what you're supposed to do because he could have right. went in there and, and, and stunk up the joint. But he did what he's supposed to do. Absolutely. So, with all of that being said, not to say I'm, I was very impressed with uh, Lo, uh, Lopez when when he beat uh, Come. Uh, I think that's mm-hmm. how you pronounce his name. Man. Oh man. He he looked like a seasoned. He looked like a seasoned professional. He looked like he handled his yeah. business. He went in there with with the winning mentality. Um, Mm -hmm. and he showed he was, he deserved to be here and he deserved to get this opportunity. So, you know, when you're talking about overall experience, I think we kind of by default have to give it to Lomachenko, but I don't say that there's too much of a big discrepancy. So who are you going to give the nod? Give the nod to him. Give him the points. Give him the nod. 
I, I, I give the points to uh, Lomachenko, 15-10. All right, fifteen ten Loma, and and Otis, repeat yours again. Uh, fifteen ten uh, Loma. Okay, so, all right. Now, this is really good. 